And here is the Writer's Almanac for Monday, July the 22nd, 2019. It's the birthday of the woman who wrote The Velveteen Rabbit, Marjorie Williams Bianco, born London, 1881. It's the birthday of the authority on etiquette. Amy Vanderbilt's complete book of etiquette sold millions of copies starting back in 1952. Amy Vanderbilt, born New York City, 1908. She was the cousin of the famous Commodore Cornelius Vanderbilt, the railway magnate. It's the birthday of the Moravian scientist, meteorologist, Johann Gregor Mendel, born Czechoslovakia, 1822, who for about seven years performed experiments on 28,000 edible pea plants and from his observations developed his theory of inheritance, including the idea of recombination of genes, which became the basis of the modern science of genetics. Shakespeare's play, The Merchant of Venice, was entered on the Stationer's Register on this day in 1598. It probably had been written around 1596. It had already been performed several times. It was very popular in the court of King James I. It was the play in which Shakespeare coined some words that we still use today, the word laughable, scrubbed, compromise, and he gave us the phrases bated breath, love is blind, and all that glitters is not gold. It's the birthday of Emma Lazarus, born New York City, 1849, to a wealthy Jewish family. She worked among the poor, the refugees, organized relief efforts for immigrant Jewish families. And when the Statue of Liberty Committee approached her in 1883, asked her to write a poem that they could auction off to raise money for the monument, she wrote them, the poem The New Colossus, including the famous lines, Give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses yearning to breathe free. And it was on this day in 1587, English settlers arrived at Roanoke Island off the coast of North Carolina. It was the third group of English to arrive in this country and the first to include women and children. It was intended to be a permanent settlement. The governor, John White, planned to build up a self-sustaining economy. He sailed back to England four months later, did not return to Roanoke Island for nearly three years, and then he found the settlement deserted, all the buildings taken down, the word Croatoan carved into a fence post. It is still not known for sure what caused the settlers to leave, but there were no signs of sickness or violence. Here's a poem for today, a poem by Emma Lazarus, a poem entitled Long Island Sound. I see it as it looked one afternoon in August by a fresh soft breeze or blown, the swiftness of the tide, the light thereon, a far off sail, white as a crescent moon, the shining waters with pale currents strewn, the quiet fishing smacks, the eastern cove, the semicircle of its dark green grove, the luminous grasses, and the merry sun in the grave sky. The sparkle far and wide, laughter of unseen children, cheerful chirp of crickets, and low lisp of rippling tide, light summer clouds, fantastical as sleep, changing unnoted while I gazed thereon, all these fair sounds and sights I made my own. A sonnet by Emma Lazarus, Long Island Sound. And that's the Writer's Almanac for Monday, July the 22nd. Be well, do good work, and keep in touch.